is that white creature walking in the yard? From another planet. <laughs> this is the finished guinea coop. Check it out. Just got two coats of paint on it. Um, I added a two foot, I guess, rodent barrier, um, just uh, metal uh, chicken wire. Um, I'm going to get some stakes and stake it down so that nothing will crawl under and harass our little guineas. But uh, yeah, so this is that tractor supply model that uh, fits 15 to 18 birds. I don't know. It's it's a pretty big hut. Um, we reinforced it in a bunch of places because honestly if, you, if you're anywhere at all windy um, I would not trust this to survive. This uh, is pretty lightweight, you know. It's not gonna survive much more than like a 20 mile an hour storm and you know I'm in the Midwest so we get some doozies here. So anyway, it's got a 4x4 pressure treated base uh, I've got a rope here on the front, and then we've got pressure treated 4x4s running up the sides, um, little guys down there. I've got one tying in from the base all the way up to the roof line in there. Um, got wheels on back, just little lawnmower wheels, uh, one on each side with a half inch carriage bolt going through it. Uh, it moves pretty good, especially when it's hooked up to the tractor. But uh, I can move it myself with a bunt, with a little bit of grunting and sweating, I suppose. But uh, yeah, it's looking good. So uh, that's where we're at with this. We're probably gonna move the guineas in there, maybe soon. Um, yeah. They're, they're getting pretty big, and I think this is secure enough, so more to come. How's it going? Oh, wow. Look at you in that fancy suit of yours. Okay, we got the finishing touches on, and I think we're ready to put the guineas in here soon. Probably tonight. Um, I added some lighting. Got some little... LED Christmas lights uh, going up the side. I think that'll look pretty cool. I've got their heat lamp in there uh, just hooked up to the ceiling. We're gonna bring in their um, container and put it right here in the middle for tonight and leave the top open. Uh, we're gonna leave it right up against the ramp. In case they hop out they can hop back in. We're gonna just leave the food and water in there for tonight and then maybe start coaxing them out of it tomorrow. But uh, yeah, we, we got some landscape staples and uh, stapled down this two feet of rodent barrier. So if anything tries to dig, it's not gonna get through. There's a bunch of staples from the staple gun. Um, yeah, I think we covered all of our bases. Um, I put the lights, the Christmas lights and the uh, heat lamp on a dusk till dawn timer. Um, so that's that's when that Sarah was just collecting berries. Look at that. How's that going? You uh, uh I mean it's pretty glued. Alright, I can help you with it. But Okay, that's what we're working on right now. Um, we'll show you when we bring the guineas in there. Alright. We've got them loaded in the back of the truck and we're headed to their new home. And they're terrified. It's okay, guys. Onward, yeah! Hang on!
Free to hop on out. We're gonna be all perched up. All right, they're in there. I put their perch at an angle, hoping they might climb up it or hop up it and, and get out. See if they end up doing anything. I think they're thinking about it. They're all flapping their wings, saying, what's this? Hope you guys like your new home. Put a lot of effort into it. Got their heat lamp on. Got the outside lights on, but can't see those yet. I'll come back out later when they're on. We couldn't, we were trying to find a straight millet mix because it's supposed to be like candy to them and you can try to make them like you more by feeding it to them, uh, like in your hand, holding it out and try to get them to like you a little bit better. Um, nowhere had it, so we got some mix that has a bunch of other stuff in it. Um, so we'll see if they like that. So this is the western side. Got the little windows here so they can get a breeze. And 
now I'm scaring him away with my shadow. I hope this rodent netting is enough. It ought to be. Everything in the garden's looking good. Sarah was out there earlier pulling weeds and checking on stuff, cutting some lettuce for dinner tonight. Yeah, we'll have to, uh, some of these rows have a lot of grass coming up. I have a bunch of cardboard uh, from the chicken, well, guinea coop that I'm going to lay down the middle and then put uh, wood chips over it because that grass is just hard to, hard to beat. Alright, well this is their first night in there, so we'll see how they do tomorrow. Hopefully they'll be happy campers. If you followed us this far, thanks for watching. And if you enjoy this content and the type of projects we do, please subscribe. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next one.